Hi everyone, how are you? It's Leah Koss with The Mortgage Center and I want to ask a question and, and it's a question that I'm sure if you're watching this and this is a question you have, you're probably hitting a fairly stressful time in your life and that question is, my bank and my broker both said no. What do I do now? How do I own a home? Well, it's not the end of the world, I will tell you that, um, but there are options for you. They just might not be options that you like but at the end of the day, if it's an option that'll get you approved and get you into a home so that you can start building your credit history back up, so that you can start paying towards a mortgage as opposed to uh, renting, then this might be an option that you wanna look at, okay? So if your bank has said no and your broker has said no, the first thing that I'll do is I'll look at your file, okay? And there are times where I've got access to brokers um, or have relationship, sorry, where I have access to lenders um, and relationships with lenders that'll allow me to get a deal that otherwise wouldn't get closed with another broker that I perhaps could. So that's obviously gonna be the first avenue because that'll be the least expensive for you. It'll still be free just like everything else, but it's gonna give you the better interest rate. So it's my first thing that I'll do. Look at my 40 plus lenders. Then from there, I'm going to go to my private lenders. Um, and private lending is kind of, they do the deals that nobody else will do, okay? And what that means is if your credit has taken a hard hit, if you have undocumented income because perhaps you get paid cash because you're self-employed, um, or perhaps your down payment is coming from an undisclosed source for whatever reason, you don't wanna disclose it, um, or perhaps you're working in an industry that the banks and non-banks don't want to look like they're supporting, such as pornography, escorts, uh, things of those nature, then uh, you're gonna need to look at private lending. And that'll probably be uh, where we end up. If, you're, if your broker and your bank has said no, then realistically, that's where we're gonna be. I like to consider every deal a deal that can be done. Um, it's just gonna be up to you as to whether it's the terms that you like. So obviously, being that you are going to be a higher risk client, um, then you're gonna be paying a higher interest rate. You're also probably going to have some fees, administration fees on top of that, and that can range from you know a couple thousand dollars to $10,000, $20,000. It all depends on how expensive the home is that you're buying and what kind of a risk that you are. But there are many lenders out there, and if you want to know who these lenders are, go to my video blog, mortgagesinvancouver.com, and I've got a whole post on private lenders, okay? But there is options for you, and I can understand and empathize that if you're reading or watching this video, you're probably at the end of your rope, but I can help. At least give me a call, and I can tell you what your options are, and then you can decide from there with no pressure what you wanna do. All right, so if you have any questions, give me a call, 604-313-9996, or go to my video vlog and written bra blog, um, mortgagesinvancouver.com. And again, my name's Leah Koss with The Mortgage Center. Thanks so much for watching.